I'm Dr. Jamie Condis, and I'm going to talk about a topic today that a lot of us in Missouri worry about, and that is spider bites. So fun fact, there's only about 60 species of spiders that bite humans, and only two species that bite humans that could potentially be fatal, the black widow spider and the brown recluse. But unfortunately for us, the black widow spider and the brown recluse both live in Missouri. But if you're like me and you see a spider, you're not stopping to see what color it is or look to see if it has markings on your back. You're either squashing it with a shoe or you're running away screaming. Most spiders are going to bite you while you're asleep anyway, so you're not even going to see what it looks like. If you do think that your child has been bitten by a spider and you are worried that it's a poisonous spider like a brown recluse, which would be the most common one here in Missouri, what you might see at the bite site, you may see fang, fang marks, but they're very tiny. You're going to see some redness and you're going to see some swelling. And if it is a poisonous spider bite, pretty quickly you're going to see some bluish discoloration and it may spread to the surrounding tissue. Issues. If you have something cold, like ice, cold washcloth, anything cold, put it right on that site that you are seeing because that will actually slow the spread of the poison to the surrounding tissues. The biggest thing we worry about is the poison spreading and causing destruction to the surrounding tissues, so coming in right away is really what you want to do. Fortunately, most of the times your kids will get bitten in the summer, it is not going to be by a poisonous spider, it will be by a mosquito. That's gonna be the most common here in Missouri, or potentially fleas, flies, or bed bugs, all of which cause local reaction, some little papules, but are not fatal. Every now and then people do have an allergic reaction to insect bites, and you start to see a lot more swelling and have some associated symptoms like trouble breathing. And in those cases, you wanna to come directly to the ER as well, where you'll be treated like any other allergic reaction. How can you prevent spider bites? Well, the main thing is trying to avoid spiders. They do like to live in dark, uh, colder areas of your home, like your basements or storage areas. So if you're going into the basement to get a box of clothes that you haven't used in a while or move some furniture around, that's when you might run into them. They say that spiders only bite when they're threatened, although I don't really know how they know that. So avoiding them in general is probably the best idea.